I would binge them though. Like they're they're, they're good bingeable movies. I feel these. They're up there with like the, maybe not other. Actually, the Terminator had three good movies. Yeah. All the Rambo's were good. All by the Rambo's way. were incredible. It just being on Channel Five on a Sunday around Christmas, and you just happening to leave it on the TV and sort of drifting it out. <laughs> like I personally gave it far more like time and effort because I knew we were re- reviewing it. I think it's the kind of film that if it was on, you just wouldn't like you wouldn't concentrate on. But I'm glad I did properly watch it. Yeah. All right. Let's let's rate this this thing, shall we? Um, uh, as it was our Christmas choice, this opens the ground. I'll go first. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it. Action film, really easy to watch. Um, I would put it down as a Christmas movie. I think it, um, it's probably up there as one of my favourite Christmas movies as well in that. like there's a, There are a couple of Christmas movies I really like, and other than that, I think Die Hard could probably nestle up there with the other ones. Um, so it was one I'd watch again, probably at Christmas time, like Tom said, I'm probably interested in actually watching the sequels. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Tom. I'm going to score it higher than that. Purely because I would, I can see myself watching this like almost every year at Christmas. And I really want to watch the sequels now. Uh, yeah, and, and like my parents love it as well. Like every generation I feel would like it. Uh, I'm going to go quite high. I'm going to give it 8.2. Oh, yippee ki yay. Yeah. That's it just huge. Is. It's, like, it, it's, like, it, it's like a classic. And like, I can feel myself not getting tired of it. And like, I don't know why, but maybe I've probably been heavily influenced by the fact that everyone loves it and it's such like a, a well-known film. But, I, but yeah, I, I, could, I could happily watch that over and over again. I think you gave... I think it it does have to be something to be said about... about the, the, the legacy it left with action movies in the 80s. Yeah. Didn't you give Tenet an 8.2? I think I gave Tenet an 8.4. Damn. That's Tenet more, wasn't that good. A modern action film compared to an old one, though. It wasn't that good. The more I think about it, I would watch <laughs> Die Hard again over watching Tenet. Mm, oh, my phone's ringing. Hang on. Mm. Well, I did that. On the yeah, no, it's, uh, it's it's Jack. <laughs> He's trying to get into the house. He clearly didn't take his keys. Hold on. Um, fuck off, Jack. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <laughs> this is so unprofessional. <laughs> This one's gone, this review, I think. Don't put it out there. I've just been munching the whole way through. I was just like, do I want to wait for my dinner to get cold? Do you reckon we could like sniff it? What have you been? What have you been eating, James? Um, Motherfucker! Homemade right. chicken pasanda. It's it's okay. So, <laughs> Jack's like my <laughs> tash Tom. She said, uh, "You would you pick up the phone like fuck off? I'm doing film club." <laughs> so she's saying, "Fuck off!" No, um, so. James, what are you going to rate it then? You 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 hated it with a passion, did you? <laughs> I don't think I hated it with a passion. I just don't just, think I enjoyed it as much as you guys. You just hate um, Hans Gruber with a passion. And I, I, I appreciate what Jen was saying about, you know, it has probably left a very long legacy and influenced a lot of action films that have followed that I probably enjoyed a lot more, but I'm not going to rate it any higher because of that. Um, so I'm going to give it a 6.2. Six point two. That's low. We've got full of a New Year's no. range. Here. We gave Valhalla Rising six point six. I enjoyed Valhalla Rising. No. This is probably the this biggest. Is the river runs through it, and Valhalla Outrage. This is the broadest. This is the broadest range we've had. Six point two. We've got a range of two already. This, yeah, this is a big a range. range. This is. This is might be one yeah. of our biggest. All right, Liam. Oh, I don't. I don't even know where Liam and I gonna. Where Liam and Jeff are gonna put it now. I'm going, I'm going seven. I'm going seven point five. Seven point five. Pretty solid. Okay. Good, yeah. Solid classic action film. Yeah. And Jem. I, I would echo that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome action film. I uh, think it left a brilliant legacy and really, really enjoyed it. Definitely a Christmas film. Uh, I give it an eight. Eight. Sorry. I'm. I'm literally like. I really enjoyed it, right? Let's not get this wrong, but 
I, I, I wouldn't class it higher than a seven like I have. Like I, I'm baffled by your ratings. Of it if you really are, enjoy a yeah, film, I reckon you've given it like a really seven point five or eight at least. We need, really the rate. we need to standardize the rate. We need to standardize these ratings. It has to be like enjoyment. A... It has to be enjoyment. It can't be anything else. I've thought. I thought about it because the yeah. way that you view you an action film or, and how you rate it is so different to how you'd rate. Yeah, a, a drama, for example, is just completely yeah. different. I think the only kind of unanimous and like um, rating you can have a measure you can have throughout is how much you enjoyed the film, and if, we, and that has to be the way you rate it. Can we agree, like what what a nine is, what like an eight is, what a seven is, just so we don't have these things where guys like I absolutely loved it. It's getting a four. <laughs> a seven is good. A seven is good. Seven for me, it's between but seven and eight seven is a four good. star. Based on the way you described it, I thought you were going to give it like an eight. No, because it's still not a great film. I enjoyed it, but we 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 we're not including any kind of like whether it is actually a good film. Otherwise, we're just going to go. I really enjoyed it, or I didn't like it. Because the the key tenets of Die Hard are pretty shit, right? There are some really dodgy parts to it, but. So there's no way I could ever put it in the eight bracket because in my books eight is like five star. Like, yeah, eight, so eight, point, eight point two. Really, really eight. I don't, it. I don't, I don't think I agree with that. Eight point yeah, two. Yeah, nine, nine and above is five star. Nine and above is like in my top ten. Mm. Nine and above is epic in my mind. That's like. Yeah, there are very few that nine I give three, above a nine. So what should we say it's a nine is? There's more five star films than there are nines. So nine, nine and above is like your top ten movies. Yeah. Eight point five and above is like brilliant film. See, I'd go eight and above is a brilliant film. Right. We're just using. We're just going to end up with Yeah, this. Synonyms and different words to describe different numbers. But if like, we, but if we, we keep we all, using, we all have different things that we look for in different films. So, um, you know, if, if if the action film in the Die Hard is like, you know, meets that criteria, you're gonna you're gonna just go, ah, oh, it's an eight. You know, it was it was a nice it was a nice good watch. But then somebody else might just not really value action films as much. You know, somebody else might like rate a fucking fantasy or uh, a romance or a, like a rom com more. Do you know what I mean? So like. You could enjoy it just as much, but you don't rate that type of film as much. So it's just like we're always going to run into these sorts of like, um, you know, uh, you know, little. We're gonna we're just gonna always like find different uh, criteria to 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 rate different films on. So, but that's I think okay. Just go with, like your intuition. Yeah. I, I, yeah, like, yeah I as, soon as, that number, as soon as someone asked me, oh, what do you what do you think that film is? Seven point five just kind of lands in my head. So. Mm. That's where I go. I, I think as long as you're okay. consistent, everyone has yeah. is consistent in the way in which they do it throughout time. Because we're taking yeah, an average, it doesn't matter. The, the list so we don't still, have to, we'll still end up so in the same place. Be consistent. The It'll end up on the same place in the list, like if we're yeah. consistent with all yeah, of our ratings. Uh, so most films are pretty consistent. Uh, that's obviously a, 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 a quite a wide one, right? Yeah, well, last year when we went through the, all those ratings, like our average ratings were like seven point three, seven point two, and seven point one. Like the, it, we are going to be pretty consistent over time. I think um, <laughs> Die Hard might just be the odd exception to it. I wasn't expecting James to give it a six point two. If I'm being honest, so that's probably the main difference. It gets, it gets seven point three overall, which to me is, sounds about right. I'm guessing Tom and Jem, you'll be disappointed by that. Bit low. Bit low. Bit low. I guess as much as. I think yeah, I would think that's low. I can see why you know people don't think it's a literary masterpiece. So yeah, you know. let's bear in mind, Die Hard's actually a very Marmite film anyway. There's a reason people talk about it all the time and like laugh about it and stuff like that because of what it is. So actually, it's not that surprising that we're probably two sides of a coin on this. 